Oh, my God, poor Rex. Poor Rex. He's been searching for his father for so long. And then to find out... I mean, how could Roxanne have lied to him all those years? Oh, Roxy didn't lie. It was Allison. She led Roxy to believe that Rex was her son. You mean Roxy didn't know? No, she had no idea. Well, that's awful. I mean, that's really awful. For both of them. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, how's Rex dealing with this? Uh, half the time he pretends like it doesn't matter. Like he suddenly doesn't need parents anymore. And the other half? He gets real quiet and looks almost as if he's ashamed. Ashamed of what? Well, it stinks to not feel like you belong to anybody and to know that your mom just gave you up and never looked back. He doesn't want to come off like he's feeling sorry for himself. You know, that's ridiculous. I mean, wanting to know who you are, where you come from, is the most basic thing in the world. There's not a person alive who doesn't want to know that. That's exactly what I try to tell him. Well, in that case, despite everything that's happened, Rex is a very lucky man. Lucky? Yes, honey. He has you to help him through this. You and Nora are making it legal. Mm-hmm. That is awesome. Matthew must be over the moon. No, that would be me. And me. I'm very happy for you guys. Well, thank you. Long, tough road to get there. You know, a lot of bumps, but I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm just counting my blessings. You have this coming, Bo. Well, I don't know about that, but you know what? I'll take it. No, I mean it. You deserve to be happy. Well, you know, you deserve the same thing, boss. We were talking about you and Nora, I, I thought. Please don't change the subject. All right, all right. You know, I have been wounded. I think maybe you could cut me some slack. Maybe get the door for me. Okay. But hey, if you want me to be happy, you could find out who this belonged to. Where did you get that? Well, I tracked down a nurse who was on duty the night that I was abandoned at the hospital. Whoever left me there tucked that into my blanket they left me with. All right. Well, I want you to drop this off the station, okay? I'll make sure it gets a full workup. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Any luck, we'll be able to find out where the other half of this thing is. Thank you. I'll take it right over. Good, good. Because I don't want you walking around with a broken heart. And I'm not just talking about that either. I'm not sure Rex wants my help with anything right now. Oh, Gigi, of course he does. Look, I know you two went through a very rough patch. Rough? I left him for a guy who ended up holding me at gunpoint and then shooting Bo. And he left you once, too, didn't he? I mean, you thought that he and your sister conceived a child together. That all just seems like a bad dream now. Ugh. Rex and I were so happy before... Before Stacy showed up. Yes, but I can't blame everything on her. Oh, yes, you can. No, Vicky, I should have told him the minute she started blackmailing me. I should have trusted him. Honey, from what I know, you were very afraid of what was going to happen to your son. And that was Stacy's trump card. Because she knew you would do anything to save your child. Okay, but still... No, there are no buts, okay? No buts. You cannot blame yourself for this, all right? No guilt. You just get over it, and you get on with your life. With or without Rex. So what, uh, now you're getting married, so you think we should all pair off like it's Noah's Ark? Ah, tough guy. Huh? Now you don't need anybody here. I don't have a broken heart, that's all I'm saying. Hmm. You love Gigi, but you're not with Gigi. And I think there's something broken about that. Do you remember what you said about bumps in the road? Well, sometimes there's one too many. It's bull. I mean, if, if, if you're in love, that, that's all that matters. Well, loving Gigi didn't stop me from hurting her. Yeah, well, she hurt you too. For a while there, it looked like you, you two were working your way back, though, right? Yeah, for a while. We share a son. We will always be part of each other's lives, but that's as far as it goes. 
And you're willing to live the rest of your life like that, huh? Gigi and I, we went through hell to be together. Sometimes I thought that we wouldn't make it, but we did. Because we trusted each other. But once that trust got broken... I'm sorry, I just don't have it in me to take that risk again. So instead of living your life with the woman that you love... Just drop it, Bo, okay? I, I can't. I won't. Awesome. You are as big a jackass as I was.